one of the things that comes in for me a lot when I try and feel into things is self judgment. That is the biggest judge. And I know after I watched Mary's talk in Seek State 2 one, then what happened that transferred into God as the big judgmental Christian thing that I was brought up with. So yep. that's the two things that get into play. And self judgment is probably the worst one in some ways. So yes. how to deal with that, really. Um, self judgment, though, when you think about it, can only have entered you through a process. You see, you had to be taught to judge yourself. Like, you imagine a little baby just being born, laying there. Does it care that it's naked? No. Does it care that it's screaming? No. Does it care that it does anything, including crap on the pillow? No. It doesn't, does it? There is that literally... No self-judgment in that place. The, the child is completely able to be itself. Now, some of us would realise that, hang a sec, while that's true, it hasn't got a very much developed intellect, so that it can't think about, oh, what does the crap on the pillow look like and how does it smell and all those other things that cause it to then judge. But, but the reality is, judgment gets introduced by the environment's emotional projection upon the child. Right? So if the child is allowed to do whatever it does and, and throughout its life and develop, of course, it's going to grow and develop and learn. But if it's allowed to discover this process itself without judgment, then it doesn't learn how to judge itself. So the only way that we can learn to judge ourselves is by somebody judging us first. Now, that somebody is most often our parents. <laughs> Now, when, when I say uh, parents judging us, most parents go, I never judge my children. How do you say that to me, right? Which is a denial of some personal truth, because most of us have judged our children at some point. But the reality is we have an emotional condition inside of ourselves that causes the feeling of judgment to automatically come out of us, given a certain set of circumstances. So, for example, when the child poos on the pillow, what's the emotion in most parents. Oh, that's just disgusting. Oh, it's terrible. You know, that's their feeling. But it stinks as well. Oh, now we're going to have to clean up. Now, there's all these emotions coming out of the parent. Where are they going? Well, they're going into the child. Besides the rest of the environment, <laughs> they're going into the child. Now, of course, other people in the environment all agree, So, because so, I've already had all those same emotions into them when they were children, right? But the little baby who is just raw and has not had the sensation of being judged before now has an emotion, without its intellect being developed even, has an emotion of judgment entering it. Unavoidable. It's in the situation. So now the child is afraid of its own bodily functions. And you know, half of us in the audience are still afraid of our own bodily functions. Right? And this is the reason why. Because we have all this judgment coming at us right from the moment that we were born. So, so can you see that self-judgment has to have its inception in somebody else judging you? So the key was... And what, what happens when somebody else judges you is this. You learn, over a period of time, that the way to get away from another person's judgment of you is to judge yourself before they get to judge you. Do you understand? So if I judge myself before you judge me, and then I modify my behaviour or my facade so that it now suits your judgement of me, now I've prevented the feeling of your judgement entering me. Of one, I'm one step ahead of you. I've already judged myself. So for the majority of us who judge ourselves quite severely, what's actually happening is that we have had judgment from others and we learned through this process of judgment from others that if I judge myself first, then the other person will not judge me. If I judge myself and modify my behaviour based on my personal judgment, the other person now cannot judge me. <laughs> And that's a great way of avoiding the emotional projection of the world that surrounds us. Can you see it's quite sad too, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. And that's why you're connecting to the sad. Mm. And that's beautiful that you're connecting to the sad because you're having a realisation that you're mm. only judging yourself because of others that have judged you first. Mm. Right? And that's a wonderful thing to realise in your life. Once you realise that, you will, start, you will stop automatically judging yourself and going, where in my life did somebody judge this first? And why did I modify my behaviour to suit them? You see, emotional um, stuff, projections, if you want to call them that, coming out of another person towards yourself, of judgement, are very unpleasant to endure. Very unpleasant. Yeah. Most of us, even as adults, can't cope with them. You imagine standing in front in, of an audience and a hundred people in the audience are swearing at you and cursing you and you just had to stand there. Now, the majority of adults would find that situation unbearable. The majority of adults would just be reduced to tears or, or want to get away or get very angry in that situation yeah. because of the amount of projection coming. That is the power of our emotional projection onto another person. It's the power to harm them greatly. You know, you know the old saying, sticks and stones can break my bones, but names can never hurt me. Well, what do you feel more now as an adult? Was it the name calling or the sticks and stones? Isn't it the names that actually hurt you more than the sticks and stones? It's very interesting, isn't it? You know, we say that, but the reality is that it's the names that we're called which, are, which have the judgement behind them. And it's the judgement behind all of this stuff that hurts. And it's very, very powerful. And, and what we learn then is to circumvent that judgement of others <coughs> and judge ourselves instead.